Anyway, let's look at the Kotalcon trailer. They showed Kotal in the trailer, but we hadn't seen gameplay until today. Today they showed off gameplay. Damn. What the fuck? I thought he was gonna have. Hold up. Was this part of the story in Mortal? I don't remember this in Mortal Kombat X. He just turns from like a jaguar or a pan. What the fuck is that? I okay. I like the way Jackie looks though. I think she looks good. Fight. She has that's very similar to her fighting stance in the last game. And Kotal's the same way. Arms down, like kind of chest faced out, and then she had sort of the same style with arms up. So they look, they look pretty similar to like how they looked in the last game. So she's got a leap now. Meter burn for combo extension or hands for combo extension. Damn. So they really went all in about, damn, she's got the, she's got Jax's uh, dash punch. <gasps> she's got Jax's ground pound. Damn, that's a big ass sword, like War God Kotal. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's got the sunbeam. Knockdown, that's probably good for the what the fuck are you talking about? That's probably good for like setting up uh, beams or totems or something. Oh, hit, hit grab, this is like a uh, pumped up Jax, it looks like. Damn, crushing blow. She got all of Jax's shit. She has so much of it. Damn, that was a codal string. Ew. Oh, God. <laughs> totems. That's probably a low. Oh yeah, she's got the NTR rockets again. She had that in the last game too. Damn! Fatal blow. She's gonna get blasted through it. Resident Evil status? Oh. Damn, the bullets bounce back. Oh my, that was tight. -na 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 -na. Ow. No look. Swish. Gross. They really went all out about making her have a bunch of Jax moves, right? Superman punch, probably a high. And then she has, uh, she had the ground pound we saw. She's got the rockets and the up rocket and straight rocket like she had in the last game. Uh, she has like, it seems like a lot of like enhancements on her legs and stuff. So I assume the variations are like, one is like, you know, Jax. Then one is like guns and missiles and shit like that. And then one is like, and like, you know, technology or whatever. And then one's gonna have like, um, like enhancements for her body, like legs and kicks and stuff. Cause in the Jax variation, she had like a pumped up thing where she grabs you and she can knee you and delay and pick different options. It was pretty cool. The Kotal Khan had a lot of old strings and variations or like things from variations that we saw before. We saw totems, we saw the sword from War God. We saw like the command throw like that, the one that he had in Sun God. So he had like War God stuff, Sun God stuff, and Blood God stuff. That was cool. Looks good. Was good. I finished my banana. And now it's time to watch people get ripped in fucking half. Yeah. You guys ready for some goddamn Mortal Kombat? Mm-hmm. Oh shit. He's got a scythe? You know, Mortal Kombat's funny because of how casually this motherfucker just walks up with a skeleton. Real casual-like. Like, you know how Paul in Tekken breaks the wall for his intro? Like, he just has a random-ass fucking wall to break? Like, I, this fool just carrying around a fucking skeleton to, so he can snap the fucking head right then. That could have been a material component for a spell of, like, fifth level. Low starter? Damn, that seems pretty far. Teleport. Into the slam after. It doesn't look like it's a combo in regular hit. Whoa, that's tight. Wow, that's super tight. So he has strings that use the shadows. Glaive, meter burn, teleport. Gives you a combo into something in the background. That looks like a combo off of the string, right? Into a standing reset, maybe? He has the clone strings. Wow, he has a dive kick with the clone? Does that mean that it's got no hurt box because the clone goes? This motherfucker's cheat. What? Did he finish the string with the clone and then teleport to the clone? What the fuck? Is that optional? Damn, anti air clone. Hey, he's got the clone toss. Teleport's blocked. Get punished. That's Mortal Kombat classic. Ducks the shadow kick. Oh, so meter burn teleport combo? Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, low clone, mid clone, probably. Oh my god, it had a crushing blow. Oh, this is his uh, fatal blow. Jesus Christ, he went through the floor, out the, oh my god, it was a double drop kick through the mouth. <laughs> oh my god. You see this shit? He grabs him, running drop kick. Boom, that's the Aaron Black, two boots, foot dive. Then he doesn't hit the ground, so this counts as multiple drop kicks in one instance. Fucking boo! He kicked them so hard he bounced off the floor. <laughs> What's the fatality? Through the chest, cut him up, intestine spewing. Jesus! Oh, the ghost inside of him. Out the front. Oh my God! Jeepers creepers! He just comes out the. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Wind pose. Damn, back to back. This is right before they fight all the bad guys, right? Get him with the back to back esports pose. Noob looks great. To be honest with you, I'm very impressed with Noob Saibon. I thought he was kind of boring in the other games. Like, he, you know, he just throws shadows and up shadow and like, yeah, I, I thought he was kind of whatever. Like, I get why people like him and stuff. In MK9, I didn't think he was that cool. He's just all right. Right? He just throws clones and shit. It's not that cool. This game, he looks stylistically, he looks way cooler. A lot of his strings look really, really tight. They looked really tight. Like the string where he does like the forward advancing move, then like teleports to it at the end. I wonder if you can choose to teleport to the end of the clone or not. That's pretty cool to me. So I don't know. I'm kind of interested in it. And you say generic ninja number seven. I don't think he seems that generic in this game, right? They did a good job of making him very different. Because like obviously Sub Zero and Scorpion. Two ninjas, but they're different from each other, right? They're separated by their movesets. In this game, they did a good job of, like, making each of the characters feel very unique and having their own personality and how their moves work, right? Which I think is important if, you know, the reputation of Mortal Kombat is nine different colored ninjas with different moves, right? Shang Tsung doesn't have a real trailer. It's just the image of him. All right, well, we can just show that. Well, here's what he looks like. Shang Tsung. And he is designed, obviously, after the movie version of Shang Tsung, which is why everybody keeps like tweeting about it and talking about it and stuff uh this is like a very surprising because you think about like shang sung from the games and he's like usually a different kind of character than shang sung from the film right but this i thought was a really cool idea because obviously one everybody likes shang sung like people want him back because he's a fucking cool character and a cool uh what's it called design right the move swaps the skulls like all the shit that he has is cool anyway and in the last game, everybody who played Shang Tsung just played Shinnok because he had down four and uh, skulls and all that shit, right? It's not the same, but people really like this character. I think that this is a cool way to do it because they have all the time travel and because they have all that shit to bring back Shang Tsung like, like this with this design of him was like the perfect time because they're messing with timelines and reality and shit. NRS can be like, we can pull any version of any character and make them the coolest we want them to be. And there's no reason we can't because of the story, right? You're saying he looks like Uncle Iroh? <laughs> Come on, man. Movie Shang Tsung was a good choice. Your soul is mine. This shit is this shit is good right here. NRS is doing a great job of like every character they bring back or every new character they show off. They did a really good job of like making that character feel very unique and interesting. And you can feel their personality and like their fighting style in the way that they fight, right? Much like when you saw Kotal with all his new stuff, or you saw, like, turning into a fucking Jaguar, Panther, whatever that was, or Johnny with his, like, fuck yous all the way back. Like, that shit was so sick, right? It was really cool. Like, they did a good job of, like, pulling the personality out of these characters and putting it into the gameplay. Cassie is great, too. Her name misspelled on the coffee cup. They went, like, full, like, fucking, the dab. They went full out with the characters. I think they did a great job. My favorite character so far, like, who I'm going to try in this game, it's interesting because... I didn't play that much MK9. So MKX, I really liked the young characters because they're new, right? So I really liked Cassie and Kung Jin. And I really liked Aaron Black. Like a lot of the new characters, right? So in this game of the characters that we've seen so far, uh, Johnny is probably... I played a lot of Johnny in the last game too. Johnny is probably the character that I'm most excited for. Johnny, I'm going to try um, Cassie as well. Uh, Jackie looks a lot of fun. Those are the characters that I'm I'm interested in. 
Kodal looks cool too, actually, to be honest with you. I probably won't play Noob, but I think he looks cool. Kano is a much better design than I thought he was before, but I probably won't mess with him that much. I'll probably try him, but you know. I think when I stream this game, I'll probably end up playing like everybody. Oh, Cabal does look cool, actually. I forgot how interesting that character was. I didn't mess with him because he wasn't in um, MKX, right? So in MK9, he was obviously super, super good. Garrus is cool, but he's not kind of the character I would normally play. I'd probably have like a secondary Garrus. That seems like the kind of character I would have a secondary for. When the game comes out, I'm probably going to be streaming it and learning almost every character on stream. Raiden looks tight too. Fuck, man, you guys are making this hard. Yeah, Cassie doesn't have the double nut punch anymore. Ding dong. That shit was so fun. She was a really fun character in the last game. She's just really simple and very good. There wasn't like a version of her that was not like good in that game. She was really strong. Other things that we need to talk about today. Boom. This is a, this is a good one. The Summit of Time. The Mortal Kombat Summit for uh, Beyond the Summit. They announced the commentary lineup. Wonder Chef. Rip Mr. Aquaman. Mustard and ketchup, ketchup and mustard, and Shy Guy for the six-man team. I'm trying to think of Dragon Ball with six people also. I feel like we had more than that. Seven. Plus, Steve came in only for grand finals. That was kind of surprising, but pretty funny. Spyro says, I only know Rip. Yeah, if you're not a big NRS guy, you might not be as familiar. I feel like even if you're not an NRS guy, you'd be familiar with ketchup and mustard, right? Ketchup and mustard are the ones who do most of the big... They're like the MK guys that people think about. There's two main duos for like the big MK stuff, right? The two main duos are KP and David and Ketchup and Mustard, right? The, a few, many years ago, back at the MK, when they did the, the last one at Evo in the arena, it was David and um, Eris because Eris likes MK more than he likes Injustice, right? So he, he rocks with that. But not surprised at all to see Ketchup and Mustard. I think everybody really wanted them to be there. That makes sense. Wonder Chef, I am surprised about seeing, not because he's good. I think Wonder Chef's awesome. I think he's super, super, super good on the mic. He just never gets chances, you know? I feel like he should be used much more. I think Chef is awesome, and I hope that he gets more work for, like, NRS events in general. He does a lot of games, but I think his NRS commentary is very, very good. And Mr. Aquaman, also another NRS guy who does lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of work. So it's probably going to be like, you know, if I think about the groups, it's probably these two and then... These three up here will probably be interchangeable as well, right? Because they all have worked together before. Chef has worked with Shy Guy before. And Aquaman has worked with Chef before. And Rip has worked with uh, Chef before. So it'll be like, you know, they'll all be rotating in and out on the couch. It'll be cool. Rip obviously has been MIA, but uh, he's done a lot of NRS games in the past. Like he did the... Remember when MLG did like Injustice and stuff? That was like way back in the day. Right, but he was doing NRS commentary then. He did uh, E League for Injustice. He's done all kinds of stuff, right? So why isn't it spelled commentary with a K? You're on to something. I'm surprised that Shy Guy's here, mostly because Shy Guy's done local stuff. Like he does, he used to do like some BCF stuff, and he used to do he does Wednesday Night Fights sometimes. But he's definitely the one on the list I was most surprised about, um, for sure. I didn't think that he'd be on here over people like. David, uh, KP, um, Darth Arma. Arma's great. I really think he's very, very good. Uh, I thought Tom Brady might get in. I honestly thought he might be one of the, the people on the mic just because it would be hilarious. But it depends on which Tom shows up because Tom is really funny and he's really like, he's in there. But when he gets emo, oh man, it's rough. So, you know. Who knows, right? It's like it depends on which Tom shows up. I'm surprised no 16-bit either. Bit would have been great to have on the couch. As great as Moss Rooney's awesome work. Jesus Christ. Thanks very much, Moss. How's it going, homie? Uh, Yeah, lineup is cool. Not what I expected, but uh, I think it should be fun to listen to. So I'm looking forward to it. I, I can't wait to check it out. I You guys know how excited I am for Mortal Kombat. So, like, I'm going to be losing it. This is uh, Texas Showdown weekend, right? May 10th to the 12th. So this should be a really fun weekend. So I told you guys too. You guys are all like, say jam. You keep saying you're not in the summit, but I don't believe you. And I was like, I told you guys I'm not doing it. You guys were like, no, you'll be at the summit. Say jam gets every gig. The thing about Mr. Aquaman is that I can't trust him during Mafia because of the cop persona. That's actually big facts. I'm just going to assume that he's the sheriff like every game. 
Yeah, I commentate Melee at the Summit. I'm that Smash guy. That's why I hosted Squish. I'm just a big fan. You know all Smash players love Eunice and Bathwater. Who do they like in Smash? They like Rosalina's Bathwater. I, I get it. You guys are into some weird shit. It's no problem. I'm not going to be playing MK Beta because I thought the MK Beta was starting today. And it was only on console. So in my head, I was like, well, because it's on console, I'd have to, like, first of all, go get all my cables and shit for my console. And second of all, I'd need to buy a capture card to stream it. And I don't want to do that just for the beta, you know? So I was like, whatever. The game's going to come out next month. And when it comes out, I'll be streaming it like crazy. So I was like, essentially, well, I might as well wait until the game comes out, right? And then I'll just, you know, play it then. So that's currently like the plan. There is a new trailer for a Mortal Kombat character that I want to watch. So we should do that. And um, well, it already started without even me clicking on it. This is a Game Informer exclusive. Real quick, and then we'll talk about, look at this fucking thing. What the hell's happening? That's the Avatar. Now, if you watch my cartoon tier list, you know that that's the Avatar, right? She looks great, wow. Projectile stopper. That looks like a string that can pop up and be special cancelable. Back throw. Damn. Rock toss mid and low for the crushing blow. Earth effect. That's like water. Freeze. Vine grasp into cru uh, crushing, crushing blow. Excuse me. What the fuck is this? Wow, it hits you when it circles around. That's pretty cool. Damn. That's air stuff. So we've seen all the elements. Flying, fire shot. Wake up. There's a lot of moves that have wake up uphill or stuff like that. Teleport. Crushing blow off the throw. Damn. Grass restand. Yes, you can combo after. Rock and a fire explosion. That's a short hop. Fatal. She's gonna get stabbed, of course. Oh no, oh no. Jesus. Oh, this is this one's gonna be bad. I can already tell. Damn! What? Fatality. Hold up. She grows, stomps, grows bigger than the fucking planet? And then spits a beam that, first of all, looks like it's crushing. That's all of California. Boom. And it only hits her. Yeah, I know Cetrion's an elder god, but that was something. I'll tell you what. Is she like the elder god of nature? This looks pretty good. This is literally Aang when he fights the Fire Lord. That was a cool trailer. I liked it. Elemental effect. Heh, <laughs> heh, 